What is up guys, it's Mikey to Mamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough the playthrough of the Hashishin aka Baliar Dark Mage, whatever you want to call it Welcome to episode, I think it was 5 part 2, I'm not quite sure, it is most certainly part 2 where we are gonna continue and uh, completing Montera quests, except for those that are bounded by certain rules, you know, like the arena. I cannot do that until I have at least learned once the uh, dual wielded capabilities first, you know. But in the end of the game, before I will, you know, liberate areas, if you will. Um, I will make sure that the arenas are done. I'm gonna try to keep all the arenas in one single video um, But I cannot make promises. So without further ado guys Let's continue with Montera with the quest that we can complete and uh, Get to Okara ASAP Like you could do with a thrashing or two. Tell me about your boss. Above Merrick. Word. He's got all kinds of problems with this bunch of losers. But as far as I can see, he's got it all under control. Is that your yeah, slave over there? Yes. Merrick stuck me with him. No idea what I'm supposed to do with the fellow. <laughs> you can have him if you like. I'll use him as my entry fee for an arena fight. Give your starting yeah, fee to Ashton, and there you are. Hey, Pipsqueak. Before you get to fight in my arena, you must pay me your entry fee. 500 gold coins, or get out of here. Let's just burn the town. Here's my entry fee, then. Great. Welcome to the Montera Arena. <laughs> Has everyone here paid an entry fee? What do you think? No entry fee, no fight. It's as easy as that. You will get your gold back, along with mine, once you have defeated me in the arena. I want you to fight me. Whoa, kid. I'm the champion here. Maybe you should warm up a little before you dare to challenge me. I'm not going to enter the arena with you until there is nobody else left here to fight you. Alright, well, like I said, I'm not going to do the arena part. Due to the fact that I want to do the arena with this guy with dual wield. Dual wield one-handed swords. Where's the other buggers? Ah, fresh meat. Tell me about Merrick. I would love to beat him in the arena. The others think the world of him, but it's all just bullshit if you ask me. Merrick is a total loser. I'd bet my head on that. Mind your language, good sir. At least say BS. You know, if you say BS, we all get the point. What's the prize if I defeat you? If you beat me, I'll give you 500 gold coins. No, not yet, of course. Ah, uh, where's the other bugger? There are more. Ready to talk with this guy. Uh, is that the only one I still need? Clueless? What do you mean? You look pretty clueless to me. Running around here, babbling at everybody. Are you looking for something? Yes, my dignity. Do you like your boss? Yep, Merrick is good. We mercenaries don't have this much freedom anywhere in the Midlands. I'm looking for a teacher. Can you teach me something? I think so. I can show you how to reach into other people's pockets, things like that. But you have to earn it first. Defeat me in a fight, and I will be your teacher. Uh, maybe another time, good sir. Now I'm pretty sure I missed one person. Check, then check, you go check. the pleasure of putting a fist in your face, have I? What do you think of Merrick? 
Nothing would work here if it weren't for Merrick. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that's one way to look at it. Ashton, check. I think I found them all now. But let me Fedor check. Yep, I found them all. Those two guys over there are both mercenaries. Now, Ashton. This treasure chest is uh, located over there behind the bush, but uh, I'm gonna do it the legitimate way, just like with, like with the moves and uh, the whole farm caboodle. Kaboot! Don't cause any more trouble here. What do you think of your leader, Merrick? Merrick is an orc lover. He was already working with them during the war. He's such a toady. Always sucking up to Varric, the leader of the orcs. His leadership qualities leave something to be desired. Everybody here is out for himself and has skeletons in his closet. I don't particularly like Merrick. He's a self-righteous asshole. Yeah, well, that's one way to put it. Show me your goods. Calling your boss an arsehole, that's not really smart to do, but I understand his point since he's a, a rebel. Everything you say is right. Now if I could find the damn teleportation stone to this particular area. Don't hit me, please. What are you doing here? I thought I'd take a break here in this hut. No one's using it now anyways. But I think I'd better get back to work. Don't be scared, my friend. I'm not here to hurt you. Not yet, at any rate. Now since I have the teleportation stone um, to Monterra, I can go to Cape Dunn to pray at the Baliar Shrine. Now the other slave uh, when it comes to Sobata, I cannot do that either one yet um, due to the fact that I first need to be able to get access to five magic glums of ore, but you will see why in a bit because it is indeed connected to Monterra but uh, it requires me to get five lumps of ore, magic ore uh, which can be quite tricky to get and you only get one day to get it so uh, I gotta have to play the ball smart you know so it will not be done in the Montera episode, but most likely in the Okara episode. But uh, we'll see, you know, if I m maybe find some lumps of ore along the way. And maybe I will be able to uh, get it done in this particular episode, but who knows. No promises. Uh, grant me the knowledge of ancient Mahor. Grant me power over spirit and body. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Alright, so now I have lightning, which is good. And I also have poison. Now amnesia can become very handy. Transfer disease, not so much. Be very careful when you use transfer disease because they will come become instantly hostile if you transfer easy disease to any NPC or whatever. Um, so I'm not gonna, you know, shortcut those. I only need amnesia when I need it, you know, to wipe the memories of certain guards when I get caught in stealing or whatever. But um, I'm gonna learn all of this, obviously. 
But at least I've got lightning bolt, which is good. Um, let's see, what do I need for this one? 140 hunting and 170 strength. Um, so let me first get my hunting to 140 at least. Um, in order to learn this one, this one, this one, and uh, this one. And then I will get the strength also. So it's going to be very expensive, but uh, it's going to be well, well worth it. Teach me something about hunting. Good. Carry on. Carry on like that. Good. You aren't ready for that. Two more. That's the way. Uh huh. You aren't ready for that. Sorry for that. I need silent hunter. You aren't ready for that. Silent Hunter F five. Alright. How can I sneak up on wild animals? This is quite different from sneaking up on people. Stalking is the only way to get within reach of a wild animal. Always creep up from behind. And don't think that the animal won't be able to scent you. If you get too close, it's over. So the best weapon for hunting is the bow. You don't have enough gold with you. Gold, gold, nothing but gold. Do I have shit to sell? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite even close to uh, a thousand. Well, I do have some things to sell. Excuse me? Show me your goods. Now, I don't think any of these black robots are quest related, but I'm gonna keep them just for the fun of it. Um, let's see, anything else I can sell? No, no, too bad. Oh, wait. 21 gold, yeah, that will get, that, that will help me. Alright, so let's go back to Montero. Oh wait, do I have vials? No I don't, okay. Long live Okara. Yeah, sure. And your little dog, too. I don't have a dog. What do you think of Mary? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to do with him. I think he does his job pretty well. Alright. Will you now leave that goddamn hut? I need that list. Good man. Now this guy you have to kill for one of the shishins, but I'll do it later. So this guy is not really mercenary, should have known. Alright, so let's talk with Merrick again. What about the hut next to your house? That old shack you mean? You can have it if you like. No one's been living there for ages. Well, thanks. About the mercenaries, Fedor thinks you are a weakling. He says he could defeat you in the arena, hands down. Ah, yes. I suspected as much. It's high time I once again showed the boys in the arena who's boss. Are you serious? Dan the Gladiator is very pleased with your work. I should think so. I gave him a slave, after all. 
Oh well. Here's your pay. Serious. Goose the gladiator appears to be loyal. Yes. Goose is a good man. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I'll have his head, okay? Roger. Sanford isn't very fond of you. Did he say so? Yes, in no uncertain terms. Oh well. As long as he does his work, I don't care what he thinks of me. This is Bradley's list of slaves. Mm. Looks all right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Mm. Oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. Here is your slave list. What? What are you doing digging through my stuff? I ought to skin you alive. Now you have your list back. Don't do that again or you'll regret it. It was orders from Merrick, you smartass. Well, not to steal it, but hey. I did steal it. Alright, so he's left. Um, the farms. Uh, talk with all the assholes over here. How much gold? Not even a thousand. Shame. Alright, so let's get myself the barrels of milk. Uh, some new slaves for the excavation site. Normally I will take all two. I highly recommend you doing all two. Um, due to the fact of extra XP as well as reputation in Montero. You know what? I'm gonna keep to that character because I can. I will uh, do it differently in my hardcore run. Because I do want to have at least once in my playthrough a 100% uh, reputation within Montero. No, like a ninja. Major difference. Is this your yard? I'm the boss here, if that's what you mean. I see to it that the stockyard works as it should. I'm looking for work. Great, I've got something for you. My people are obviously too stupid to deal with this. Lately, a pack of stray wolves has been roaming the area. They creep up to the yard at night and eat our livestock from right under our noses. I would pay you a good deal if you could make them go away. I will take care of the wolves. One more thing. Those beasts are damn clever. They must be hiding out somewhere when it's light outside. You will hardly catch them out in the open. I would imagine they have a cave somewhere near Montera. They're only wolves. I'll find them. Trust me. I should hope so. Bradley needs new slaves. All right. Just take what you can find here. Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slaves so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. You don't say. Don't like it at all. Take my advice. How many barrels of milk? Got all five. Good. You haven't come to send me back to town, have you? Forget it. I'm staying here on the farm. You're going to work in town again from now on. Oh, no, please. I, I can't bear the pain of the excavations anymore. Oh, well. Then what can you offer me? I could uh, give you some information that will help you gain favor with the mercenaries. Okay. Tell me what you've got. Listen, Nick. Not too long ago, Dennis sent some of his people to the grain farm to cause some trouble there. No idea what it was that they did, but I'm sure they were up to no good. What? That was it? I'm sorry. That's all I know. Give me some gold and you can stay on the farm. Gold? 
I'm a slave. I don't have any gold. Well, then back to work you go. Yeah, moving to the excavations now, or I'll drag you there. All right, all right, I'm going. Don't worry about it, brother. Your liberation will be soon. Well, not quite. Working on the farm here isn't that bad at all. Especially when I think of the poor beggars down at the excavations. You're needed at the excavations in town. Don't even say that. I can't go. Working at the excavations is the job from hell. You have no idea. As an assassin, I must act like a douche. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you. I could tell you where to find a treasure. Where is this treasure? Oh no, it's not that easy. How do I know you won't send me to work in town anyway if I tell you? So, what do you want? I want you to go to Dennis and tell him that I should stay here. Then I'll let you know where there is some treasure to be had. I will talk to Dennis. All right, I will wait. I will let the slave Kelvin stay here in the yard. Fine with me. Oh, oh by the way, I will not let him stay. It's just uh, to make uh, make make him uh, comfortable. He's gonna go back to work with a sorry ass. Other people need to break too, you know. I talked to Dennis. Are you happy now? Fine. Listen up, then. Ashton, the mercenary, lets the other mercenaries fight in his arena in Monterra. Everybody knows they're all fighting for gold. Ashton turns the gold into his boss, but I know that most of it ends up in his own pocket. He hides his gold under a bush behind the arena so he won't be found out. How do you know about this thing with Ashton? Once, when I was cleaning his rooms, I watched him hide his gold. Now in a hardcore run, I will uh, let this guy stay on the farm, maybe both of them. But uh, since I'm going to be a Hashishin and they're well known for slave trading, I gotta act like a slave trader. Alright mate, now you're going to work in the temple again anyway. Oh please, you can't mean that. Yes I can. You're a right bastard, you know. Yup, I know man, but uh, life is rough. Life is rough indeed. All right, so we're done here. But don't worry about it. Liberation will be soon. Well, not quite soon. It's gonna take a couple of days, you know, a couple of months in game. But uh, he will be thankful for his liberty if he doesn't die. That is. I don't like snakes. Nasty animals. And spiders, I hate those too. And lizards. No, just to kill them, you know, just for their mere XP. I don't have a real purpose in the game, which is too bad. You know, if they would lay eggs or something, then at least they would have a purpose. Now, their only purpose is death. I could have told you that. Yeah. You need to get in. Looting like a boss. Now, this guy will lead us to uh to Okara. I will talk with him, but I will not go to Okara just yet. Hey you. You look different from the others here. You don't work for the orc mercenaries, do you? I work for anyone who pays enough. I'll work for anyone who pays enough. Hmm. Then you aren't the one I'm looking for. No offense. None taken. Who are you looking for? I must get out of here. But the mercenaries are, are watching my every step. I need someone strong who can distract them while I make a run for it. You're one of the slaves, aren't you? Unfortunately. That wasn't always the case. But today, there isn't much choice. It's pretty brave of you, telling me something like that. Ah, 
What have I got to lose? Either you help me now, or I'm done for. Maybe I can help you. I have to get to Okara, and as fast as possible. The rebels are waiting for me there. I have a very important message for them. So do I. What sort of message for the rebels? <sighs> Forget it. I was careless enough telling you about it at all. We'll, we'll, we'll soon go, my friend. We'll soon go. First, got to take care of the business in Monterrey. Eh? You have to watch what you say. Still, you can't go on like this. What is it? Are you unhappy with your pay as well? Go back to work. Slow down. I'm not one of your people. Then what do you want here? I'm busy. If I don't watch out, the slaves will take off and the boys will just hang around and be idle. I don't know if you're right about I think you may need my help. Oh, damn. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret this. First, show me what you've got. Then maybe I'll think about it. Slaves are escaping from your farm? Yes, damn it. Go ahead and rub it in. Not enough that this Marek is constantly after me. My own people are making fun of me now. You should get your lads going somehow. Light a fire under them. Great suggestion. The only thing that could motivate them now is alcohol. We're either going to be stabbed by grain thieves or overrun by the undead from the castle to the east. Did you just say undead? If you follow the path to the east, it will take you to the old paladin stronghold. It's nothing but ruins these days, but still inhabited, if you get my drift. I wouldn't go too close to the castle if I were you. What about the rebels? The royalists are lying low in the mountains or hanging around outside of Monterra. The rebels aren't a serious threat. The grain thieves up north are more cause for worry. They will come at night and steal those sacks of wheat right from under our noses. I'm halfway expecting to wake up with a slashed throat while my own people are snoring in the hay, sleeping off a hangover. Tell me about Merrick. He is an orc mercenary, just like me. Merrick is our leader here in Monterra. He sees to it that everybody works and doesn't just do what they damn well want to. I'd like to know how he does that. I can't even handle the handful of people here on the farm. One of your slaves is in contact with the rebels. Oh, this is getting better and better. Is there no end in sight? All right, you take care of it. I can't do everything, can I? I see. Dennis set your hay bales on fire. Yes, I know. That swine is mocking me, too. Let him, then. He who laughs last, laughs best. Indeed, my friend. I will take care of the grain thieves. You want to do what my people haven't accomplished in weeks? Ha! Go ahead, I want to see that. And then, um, use your eyes and see, my friend. For gold, I do everything. The world is corrupt. A bit laggy. In gold, you trust. Five sacks of grain from the th grain thieves. Oh, I should have them all. All right, so here we go to the grain thieves. Are you fucking kidding me? Lord. 
Loading, 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 yeah, it's alive, come on. Come on. Good thing I saved, otherwise I would have needed to redo a whole lot. Are you freaking kidding me? God damn it. Well, the lightning does a bit more damage than I anticipated that it would. But, you know, as long as I don't have a mana regeneration, my mana will deplete like a bounce. You can do it, you can do it, man. Come on. There we go. Come on, come Alright, so let's go to the Grain Thieves for real this time. Yeah, the lane's all real. With 16 gigabytes of RAM. Can you believe it, guys? I most certainly cannot. I'll tear your head off. I bet you do. Oh, bugger. I'll 
tear your head off. Tear your head off. Good. You kicked my ass. So you get then good, man. Let me check, by the way, what I need for mana regeneration. I know I can learn it in the desert somewhere with one of the dark mages. I think it was the one in the, uh, um, was it Ishtar? No, 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 not Ishtar. Bangladesh? I think it was Bangladesh. That much, eh? Well, at least I killed the boars. Two hundred ancient knowledge and learn quickly. Two fifty is the max requirement, right? Two seventy five. Holy shit. It's stronger than those two. Two seventy five. Want to see if I can hit one of those uh, green thieves? That was a waste of mana. One HP. Oof. Lucky me.
At least part of my plan worked. Karma is a bitch. Well, normally I would now cut it, you know, into uh, a part three, but uh, I'm not gonna do that since it's pretty much the last thing that I can do when it comes to Montera um, because of the fact that I need five magic ore in order to get one of the slaves from the orc smith so I get that option done. Um, I wanted to do with my uh, one of my other two paths, but I didn't know exactly how to get it done. Now I do, um, due to the fact that I already tried the other two, you know, so I know exactly how to get the magical ore quest. So I need five lumps of magic ore, um, which I cannot get unless I go to Okara, do the questing there, find the sulfur mine, whatever mine it is, which has magical ore um, deposits within it. Um, as well as the gladiator part, you know, the arena part, I cannot do until I have dual wielded one-handed weapons. But I have had a bit of setback when it comes to uh, being killed by a snapper. I'll tear you apart. I bet you do. Ugh. <sighs> 
I just wanted to go into sneak mode so I could heal faster, god damn it. Yeah, this uh, episode I currently like the most, that's for sure. again so I think I should uh, make a quick save after every battle well that was a double waste Easy, Ben. Easy. Doc, ready? A uh, lady luck. Thank you very much. Sorry about that sir, but uh, I can no longer afford to, to die. Alright, so that's two down, about uh, six more to go or so. I'll tear your head off. I'm gonna use the poison to lure them. What a nasty tactic. 
tactic. Wow, stupid mouse. Right, so that's four down. We're getting there slowly. Stupidity of the NPCs.
there. My mouse is a bit too sensitive, so uh, I miss quite a bit. Every time I want to give it a slight, you know, uh, readjustment aim, whether it's higher, left, right, down, doesn't really matter. It always goes a bit too much. How many arrows? Wow, I purchased over 200. 80 left. Well, at least it's the final grain thief, so that is progress, I suppose. Now, hopefully I don't fuck it up. Come then. Stop blocking like a pussy. Sorry that it took so long guys, but we finally got him. Alright, so let me quickly teleport again to Cape Don. Sleep till next morning, slash, um, you know, see if I can pray, s sell some of my items and then pray at the Belier Shrine to learn a new spell. And then I will quickly go and uh, deliver the quest and then we're done. Show me your goods. Grant me power over spirit and body. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. What did I want to learn then? Oh, right, hunting. Taking pelt and uh, hornets and teeth if possible. Um, well, let's see, 120. I do have the capability for it. Because that will ensure another quest in uh, Okara. Teach me something about hunting. Show me how to extract teeth, claws, and horns from beasts. Above all, you have to make sure that the stock doesn't splinter. Jam your knife deep into the flesh and uncover the trophy. Once you're in deep enough, lever it out. How can I skin beasts? Slit the prey open and remove the skin with a jerk. The most important thing is, always from back to front. Once you know how to do it, it's no problem. You aren't ready for that. You don't have enough gold with you. Okay, so I do can learn how to... You aren't ready for that. Okay. Makarimashita. Let me quickly teleport to Radic in order to train a bit of my ancient knowledge. And at least I can do and use the gold in that purpose, because I do need 200 
and 75 ancient knowledge. The sooner the better, because it will make the game a lot easier. As well as the fact that uh, as soon as I'm above 200, I can learn uh, mana regeneration, will be, which will be very helpful towards my character. As well as the fact that um, I will get to about 150 to about 200 ancient knowledge before consuming tablets. Teach me something about ancient magic. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Seven, and that's 2,500 gold. I don't have that. Carry on like that. Carry on. That's the way. Carry on. You don't have the necessary experience. Good. Carry on. Let's use the remaining two learning points to train a bit about smithing. Teach me something about being a smith. Good. Carry on like that. TP to Montera and then uh, deliver the quest and then we're done. Oh shit, I totally forgot about the wolves. F me. Because the problem is, you know, I don't want to make the videos too long, but I do miss the wall spot. And I do have to go to Dominic's farm, so I should have, uh, you know, cut the episode when I had the chance. But that's fine, you know, part 3 will still come. I totally forgot about a couple of uh, quests. But yeah, no, that's alright, let's deliver this quest at the very least. You won't lose any more sleep over those grain thieves. Don't tell me you sent them all running. Hardly. They are dead. <laughs> Amazing! That was no mean feat. Wouldn't you like to work for me? I already did. <laughs> That's true. And not for free, either. I will pay you the money that my people were going to get. Just don't spend it all on booze. What about those stolen sacks of wheat? Take them to Montera, together with the ones here on the farm. The boys must be waiting for them by now. So anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Once again, my apologies for uh, this kind of long episode, 1 hour 7 minutes. By the time I'm done talking, it's about 1 hour and 10 minutes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified on whenever I upload new content. And uh, I hope to see you guys in, sadly but true, part 3 of uh, Montera, where we're going to finish Montera. And I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure on how long it will take. We do not have much to do. But um, we still have to kill a couple of wolves, um, which is connected to Dennis' farm. Um, we have to deliver the, the barrels of milk and sacks of wheat to Sanford. We have to go to Dominic's farm and get his rent. And we have to get Trano, the lazy bugger, of his chilling spot. So I totally forgot those, and uh, if I remember those and I would have already gone into part 3 so thank you guys for watching my sincere apologies for such a long episode but fear not at some point every of my videos will have timestamps so that you guys can use and skip whatever you want to skip and find whatever you want to find anyways guys thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time